How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Here are the best VPNs that give you dedicated IPs. So we've got CyberGhost, NordVPN, and Surfshark. So starting with CyberGhost, let's go ahead. By the way, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, I'll find links to pricing discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below. Now with CyberGhost, you don't get any free dedicated IP uh, servers. You have to purchase it. So if that's what you're looking for, you're actually going to get a really good dedicated IP address. It's only for you. Nobody else can use it. And of course, you're going to have to pay a little extra for it since it's your own dedicated IP server. So uh, with NordVPN, though, if you switch to the OpenVPN protocol, you will be able to get this dedicated IP um, specialty servers right here here and the cool thing about this is that you don't have to pay for these but if you want your own dedicated ip server you are able to get that from nordvpn if you pay for it of course um, and the thing about these dedicated ips is that unlike the dynamic ips with the regular servers which are ever changing every time you connect and reconnect to the regular servers with these servers each one of these servers will have the same IP address. So 2925 will have its own IP. And even when you disconnect and reconnect, it will still have the same IP address. And it's the same with, for example, 2904, you will always get the same IP address uh, when you reconnect back to it. Uh, and it's the same with Surfshark, you do have that. So Surfshark, you can't really purchase your own, your own IP address, unlike CyberGhost and NordVPN, but you still get that static IP uh, service, similarly to the NordVPN free dedicated IP servers right here. Uh, so it's pretty useful. You can't purchase your own IP address with Surfshark, but again, it's a pretty budget-friendly VPN, and the fact that they give you the, uh, the, the ability to connect to static IPs is pretty nice. And uh, as it says right here, if we go to dedicated IPs, it's super useful to see fewer CAPTCHAs. You don't want to keep going through CAPTCHA prompts every time you connect to a VPN because you're accessing it from a uh, from a different IP address. And um, the cool thing also about using a dedicated IP is that if let's say you're trying to access your Binance account, your banking application, whatever it is, if you constantly try to access it from different IP addresses, you will risk getting blocked by your bank because your bank does not want to see uh, different IP addresses trying to access your account because it will suspect fraudulent activity as if somebody from across the world is trying to access your account and they will block you. So to avoid that, using a dedicated IP or a static IP rather is always going to be very useful. So if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features of these VPNs. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.